Hi friends, good evening. Uh, in the last video, I have uh, discussed the basic concepts of uh, mixture and uh, alleation rules. Now today, we are going to continue the same chapter. In the last video, we had discussed three to four basic level problems to make the beginners also to understand the concept in a proper manner. I hope you must have understood that one. Now, let's continue with this question. Now, this question you see in this question, they have given in this way. Uh, in what ratio a trader should mix, in what ratio a trader should mix tea at 110 rupees a kg and another variety of tea at 150 rupees a kg so that by selling the mixture at 132 rupees a kg, he may gain 10% is the question. Now you see, many students are doing mistake, particularly the beginners, by taking this one in this way. Suppose if it, uh, they are mistaken, where are they doing the mistake? Here, this 132 rupees, straight away they are taking this 132 rupees as a mean price there with the allegation rules. Now they are doing in this way, 132 rupees as the mean price, then they are taking 110 rupees on one side and 150 rupees on the other side and going for the rule of allegation. But observe here, this is the wrong method, this wrong way of doing this one. Why is this wrong way of doing that one? Because I told you very clearly in the previous video, when we are making the rule of allegation, applying the rule of allegation, always remember all the three values should be of the same kind. But here, all the three are not of the same kind. This 110 rupees is the cost price and this 150 rupees is the cost price. Whereas this 132 rupees is the selling price by selling the mixture. Now you see, by selling the mixture, this is selling price. I cannot take cost price, cost price and selling price for alleation rule purpose. For that reason, first of all, you need to convert this selling price in terms of cost price. How to convert selling price in terms of cost price? Uh, already we have learned that one in the profit and loss first video. If you want that one, uh, the beginners, you may refer that profit or loss part of one. So now let's go for this one. How to convert this 132 rupees to cost price there? Simple way. Now they have given selling price as uh, 132 rupees. Then profit percentage is uh, 10%. And of course, in this type of questions, uh, we always should take cost price as a uh, 100%, right? Now, very clearly, this 100 plus this 10, 110% of cost price is equal to 132. Now, 100% of the cost price is how much? Now, simply that is 100 by 110 into 132. Now, you can simplify this one. This is 11 ones and 11, uh, this is uh, 2, 20, 12. So, that is 120. Now you observe here, this 120 rupees is the cost price. All right, um, I'll explain you this is for the beginners. Now, if you want to do straight away, you can do this one, 132 into 100 by 110, directly you can get the value. Now, you are it now, we can go for the uh, allegation rules. What are the allegation rules rule here? Simply, I can go like this. I want to take this uh, 120 rupees as the mean price, that is cost price. Now. We can very easily take this one. On one side, I'm taking on one side, I'm taking this one as 110 rupees. This is one variety of tea cost price, and other variety of tea's cost price is uh, 150. Now, simply we can apply the rule of alleation. Now, more value. This is 150 is the higher value. Minus will be mean value 150 minus 120. I'm taking this one as 30. Now this is 120 minus 110. Now it's going to be 10 here. Now, simply my ratio is uh, 3 is to 1. What do you mean by 3 is to 1? The T which is costing at uh, 110 rupees kg should be taken in three parts and 150 rupees kg should be taken in one part uh, so that by selling the mixture at uh, 132 rupees a kg, he will gain a profit of 10%. Now, this is the way to go for uh, uh, mixture means uh, uh, profit and loss problems by using this allegation rule. Hope you understood this one, right? And this question, only one thing is there. You cannot take 132 as the mean, mean price. Uh, since it is selling price, convert that selling price in terms of the cost price. That's very, very important. All right. Now, let's move on to the second problem. 
Right. Now let's move on to the second problem. Now they have given the second problem. How many kgs of rice at uh, 35 rupees a kg be mixed with uh, 70 kgs of rice at uh, 55 rupees a kg? So that by selling the mixture at 48 rupees a kg, he may gain 20%. All right, here also, don't make any mistake by taking this uh, 48 as the mean price. 48 is not the mean price, right? Now, 48 should be converted into selling price by using 20% profit. Now, as usual, selling price is uh, 48 rupees. And uh, in this transaction, there is a profit of uh, 20%. Now, now, I want to convert this one into cost price. Now, 120% of the Cost price is uh, 48, 100 percent is how much? Now it should be 100 by 120 into of course uh, 48 or straight away you can do 48 into 100 by 120, right? This uh, like I'm, I'm explaining this one every time to make the beginners understand what is the concept in this one. Now very clearly you can go for this one. This is uh, 12 fourths and now the value should be 40 rupees. Now, 40 rupees is nothing but the cost price. Now, I'm taking this cost price as the mean value. Now, this is 40 rupees. Then followed by, I can make the rule of allegation, apply the rule of allegation. One side, I'm taking 35 rupees a kg. And other side, it is 55 rupees a kg. Now, very simply, I can get 55 minus 40, that is 15. And this is 40 minus 35, that is 5. Now, the ratio is uh, 3 is to 1 like the previous question, right? 3 is to 1. But here the extension is that, uh, what do you mean by 3 is to 1? 35 rupees a kg worth rice uh, should be mixed in three parts uh, with 55 rupee kg a rice, uh, which should be taken in one part. Uh, so that by selling this mixture at 48 rupees a kg, he will gain 20%. Uh, now here, the question is, uh, how many kgs of this 35 rupees a kg should be mixed with 70 kgs of rice, which is for 55 rupees a kg. Means 55 rupees a kg rice is already there in 70 kgs with me. That is the quantity. Now, clearly by ruling, by applying the uh, ratios here, applying the rules of ratios, simply I can say in 3 is to 1 ratio, already I'm having 55 rupee kg rice as one part. And this is uh, 35 rupee kg is three parts. Now clearly one part in my ratio is equal to 70 kgs. Now three parts equal to how much? Now very clearly my answer is going to be 70 into 3, 210 kgs, right? Now finally my answer is going to be the rice which is costing at 35 rupees a kg must be mixed with the 55 rupees a kg by taking 210 kgs. Uh, with the uh, 70 kgs of 55 ru uh, rupees a kg so that the mixture can be sold at 48 rupees a kg to gain 20 percent in this transaction hope you got the idea right so now this is how you need to go for this one only additional thing in this question is in the ratio already i know one part uh, you need to find out the second part right now let's move on to the third problem in this row now let's move on to the Third problem now. The third problem says uh, in a zoo, they have given, one second, we'll go for this. Now, the third problem says, uh, ah, in a zoo, there are uh, some parrots and some deers they have given. If their heads are counted, these are 400 in number. And if their legs are counted, these are 850 in number. How many deers are there in the zoo? Now, see friends, this question can be done in uh, means with the help of uh, algebra also by taking something as x. Now I'll show you that one. I'm not going to solve the question anyway with the help of uh, pure mathematical method algebra. We will use uh, uh, allegation rules here for even this question. But before going for that one, let us see how to go for this. All right. With the help of algebra, I can do this one. Since they have asked, uh, uh, what is the number of deers in this one? What's the number of deers mean? Suppose if I take deers as x, of course, parrots is total animals. If their heads are count 400 means total animals are 400. Now, it should be 400 minus x. 
Then after that, with the help of this counting of legs, I can make an equation and I'm going to solve the problem. But I'm not going to solve in this method. Let's use a mixture allegation method for this one. Instead of saying mixture and allegation, there is no concept of mixture for this question. I'm going to use simply rule of allegation here. Simply. Now, let us go for the mean value. Now here, I'm going to take the mean value as 850. So now this mean value 850, but remember 850 are legs. All right. So since the very basic rule of allegation, when you have taken legs here, now the other two also must be of the same kind in terms of legs. I'm taking here only two types of animals are there. One is parrot and other type of animal is deer they have given. Right. So now, uh, total number of heads, if the heads are counted, this is 400 in number. What do you mean by that one? Total number of animals is 400. So deers and parrots together, uh, animals is uh, 400. Now, let's do the question in this way. Now, what is the number of legs of uh, all the parrots there? Now, I'm going to do in this way. I'm imagining that uh, all the 400 animals are parrots only. If all the 400 animals are parrots, obviously, as all of us know, every parrot is having two legs and every deer is having four legs. Provided on the lighter side, we have to take uh, no animal is physically handicapped. Okay, right. Now let's take in this way. So parrot is having two legs, each parrot, every parrot. So now here, since parrots are each parrot is having two legs, 400 number of parrots are there because I'm taking that all the 400 animals are parrots only. Now this is 2 into 400 number of legs of parrot should be 800. All right. Now equally I have to take in this way. If all the 400 animals are deers only. In this case what happens 400 into 4 legs. Now it should be 1600. Now obviously I'm going to apply the rule of allegation here. Now it is 850 minus 800. This is 50. Now 1600 minus 800. It should be 750. All right. So now the ratio of number of parrots to deers should be equal to 750 is to 50 or 75 is to 5 or it should be 5 15s and 5 ones. Now I'm taking this one as 15 is to 1. What do you mean by 15 is to 1? Number of the ratio of parrots to deers is 15 is to 1. For every 15 parrots in that zoo, there is one deer. Now the question is how many deers are there? Since the total number of animals is 400, obviously it should be 400 into I need number of uh, which one deers here. Deers means it is 1 by this is 15 plus 1. Of course, this is 16. 16 to 32 and this is 16 fives it is 25 so number of deers is equal to 25 have to go in this way if there's number of parrots of course we can go for this one 400 minus 25 hope you got the idea see observe this one rule of allegation or rules of allegation can be applicable in in many chapters as i told you in the first video it can be applicable for percentages then uh, profit and loss, then simple interest and the time and distance and this type of general problems also we can use uh, rule of allegation. But remember friends, while going for rule of allegation, there are, there should be two things only, right? It should be bifurcated into two, then followed by all the while going for this uh, rule of allegation, first the mean value and rest of the two values must be of the same kind. And uh, even there are three types of things also we can use the rule of allegation i'll give you in the advanced videos right now let's go for the other problem in this video yeah let's continue with this uh, question this question is also this question is actually asked in many forms in many examinations. I've taken the simplest form here. The concept is same. The form is very simplest. Here they have given in what proportion must water be mixed with milk to gain 25% by selling it at a cost price. These questions can be asked in the other way also. A dishonest milk person professes to sell the milk at a cost price, but still he is gaining 25%. In this uh, transaction, what should be the ratio of the 
milk and water in this mixture or how much water should be added to milk in form of the ratio or they may ask uh, to gain 25% by adding some water to the milk uh, even after professing that he is selling at a uh, cost price uh, ha, what is the percentage of water in the mixture to get 25% of profit even after selling at the cost price in many ways they can ask that one now how to go for this question even this question can be solved with the alleation rules how simply we can go for this one now i need to find out uh, the ratio of uh, water to milk or milk to water whatever it may be right then how to go for this one simple way you see since i am going to have the ratio only i can take any number i want which is convenient for me i am taking in this way let the cost of the let the cost price of the milk per liter let us take whatever it may be is 1 rupee i am taking this one as 1 rupee all right so since like uh, uh, this one by selling it at cost price since it is been the mixture is been sold at cost price only uh, when i have taken cost price of the milk is 1 rupee then selling price of the mixture mixture means this is milk and water should also be 1 rupee all right so now here i need to form the alleation grid by using rule of alleation in this case uh, i cannot form in this way now this is 1 and this is milk one side and water one side i cannot take one as the mean one because one is not the cost price this is selling price but i have taken cost price of the milk as 1 rupee i need to convert this 1 rupee of selling price into cost price there now this is my next exercise how to convert this one we have done three four questions based on this one simply here selling price is 1 rupee and profit percent is 25 now what is the cost price means uh, 125 percent of the cost price is equal to 1 rupee then 100 percent of the cost price is uh, how much now it should be 100 by 125 uh, into 1 of course now it should be 4 by 5 is the cost price now i can frame the rule of allegation here now i'm taking this one as a uh, 4 by 5 and one side i'm taking milk uh, since the cost price of milk have taken 1 rupee here this 4 by 5 is also cost price now cost price of water is always you have to take as 0 rupees now very clearly after from framing the grid this is uh, 1 minus 4 by 5 because this is more than 4 by 5 and this is 4 by 5 minus 0 i am doing in this way this is 1 minus 4 by 5 and here it is uh, 4 by 5 minus 0 of course this is 4 by 5 is to 1 minus 4 by 5 this is 1 by 5 what do you mean by this one the ratio anyway it's going to be cancelled the ratio is uh, 4 is to 1 here finally the answer is milk in this ratio milk should be of uh, 4 parts uh, and water should be 1 part now clearly answer for this question is in what proportion must water be mixed with milk uh, to gain 25 percent by selling it at a cost price also right how much is the profit now very uh, how much not pro, not the question of profit profit they have given what is the ratio of uh, how much water to be mixed in what proportion water be mixed with milk so that should be in the ratio of 1 is to 4 because the question is water is to milk if it is milk to water obviously that is 4 is to 1 in this way you need to go for the question Hope you got the idea. If they ask what is the percentage of water in this one, sometimes they may ask in this way. If it is percentage of water also, you can go for this one. What is the percentage of water? This is 1 out of 5. Because 4 plus 1, 5. Percentage means into 100 you have to go for. That should be taken as, uh, it should be 20% of water must be there. So, this is how we need to go for this. Hope you understood this one. In this video, I have discussed uh, some, again, some more questions, not exactly basic level, some moderate level difficulty questions for this uh, from this chapter so that anybody can understand this one. Now, in the next video, I am going to discuss uh, some more questions using this uh, uh, rule of mixtures and allegation. First, in the next video also, we will go for allegation rules. And next to next video, I am going to shift to the mixtures. So, so uh, how to mix up two liquids uh, or two different kinds of liquids or whatever it may be 
in a very interesting manner i'm going to take up that one also thank you very much thank you thank you for watching this video